if we can get to a place where what we're referring to now as regenerative ag or elements thereof become the conventional ag of, of five years, then we'll have, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have achieved what, what we want to achieve. Um, I have no doubt we will have some impact. I have no doubt we will have significant impact. Um, and we we're going to work very hard to, and it's not necessarily for our own benefit. I mean, we're going to be very open about it. If somebody else benefits uh, financially or otherwise, great, great, great. <laughs> because it's really about the world and the earth and, and trying to reverse some of the things. If Kenyan produce can be considered wherever it goes as being premium produce because of, because of some of the practices that, that, that we will evangelize, then fantastic. So, um, and, and, and some of the basic things, we need to be able to feed our people. However you define feed and however you define our people is up to you. But we can't have a situation as you described at the beginning of this where a significant portion of our population globally is, is hungry. Uh, yet we have surplus uh, food production capacity. So, so there, there, there are a thousand things. And, and, and bring the birds back, bring the reptiles back, you know. Let's just, we, we, we need to share this world. Let's, let's all enjoy it.